friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Alyssa Marie, special welcome to you. Today I'm really hyped because I'm doing something that I've never done before. This is gonna be my first time doing a twist out. I did lots of research today. I watched a ton of other girls do twist out tutorials and I've also tried so many different products so I kind of have a good idea of what I think will work. So I'm excited. I'm just gonna take you guys along with me for this twist out tutorial. So if you're interested in seeing that, Let's go get into it. So I'm starting with literally freshly washed hair. I just came out the shower like 10 minutes ago. I have let it kind of dry a little bit. I had on my little turban. Let me show it to you guys. It's actually really cute. Here it is. I actually really love this turban. So it has like a little hook and a button up here. So you literally put it on your head and then you can loop it around and it just stays on your head. So I just had this on while I was like doing my skincare and my body care and all of that stuff. And it's made out of that microfiber material that is really, really good for your hair to dry it but not frizz it out and like over dry it out, you know what I mean? So I'll go ahead and link this below. This is by the brand called Aquas, I believe. I think that's how you pronounce it. So yeah, my hair is freshly washed, detangled, and in terms of any product, I did leave like a little bit of conditioner in there as usual, but besides that, I mean, there's nothing in here at all. I have not touched it. Oh, so before we go ahead and twist, I'm gonna just grab my little scalp serum. This is something that I've been swearing by lately. It is just so good. I just love how it just keeps my scalp in check. It helps it not like be itchy and it also has biotin in it. So it really helps to support hair growth as well. So I'm all for this. It keeps it balanced and also helps to avoid buildup on your scalp. It is the bomb.com. Oh, and did I mention it's black owned? So, so good. I'll link this for you guys below as well. All right, so we are basically almost ready to go. I just wanted to discuss the products that I'm gonna be using really quick. I feel like product choice when it comes to a twist out is like majorly important. I feel like that's kind of the make it or break it thing. If you use products that don't really work well together or don't really work well with your hair in particular, then that could really make this entire twist out go to waste and we definitely don't want that at all. So I'm gonna show you guys what I've decided to use for this twist out. Oh my gosh, I actually have like some options here. So first I have the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Leave-In Conditioner. It is a leave-in conditioner spray. So that's the reason why I kind of wanted to use this to kind of add a little bit of additional moisture back into each section of hair, each twist. Then I also have my curl mousse. Y'all already know, like if you're OGs of my channel, you know how much I love the Shea Moisture Curl Mousse. The baddest, all right? So this is what I'm gonna be using as a whole product. I understand that gel might be a little bit too much for a twist out, like it might cause a little bit too much crunch and just, I don't know, it just might be a little bit too much. So I decided to offer mousse. And now for my cream products. I'm trying to decide between two, both of which are black owned by the way. So this is the Curls Blueberry Bliss Leave-In Conditioner. And now even though I do have this spray, this leave-in conditioner in particular is like the most curl defining leave-in conditioner that I've ever used. Like without it being an actual curling cream, it actually gives me insane definition. So I've always really loved this for that reason. But the other cream that I'm trying to decide between is the Brio Geo Curl Charisma Chia and Flaxseed Coil Custard. Like this is kind of exactly what it's for. It's like a custard. It's meant to give your curls nice definition without like super insane hold. So I don't know, I think I'm actually leaning kind of more towards this. Brio Geo is one of my favorite, favorite hair care brands that I'm constantly mentioning on this channel. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and actually give this a try. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is go ahead and section out my hair. I'm not sure how small these twists actually need to be. Like, I know they need to be small enough so that my roots don't get poofy because, oh my gosh, like I really don't wanna have to deal with that but I also don't want them to be like super teeny and then it takes us five hours to do this because ain't nobody got time. Are my twists gonna need to be bigger than this though? I don't even know. All right, honestly, I have no idea how big the twists need to be. I might end up making them a little bit bigger like towards the front, I don't know, but we'll see. So I'm just gonna start out with something this size. All right, let's dive right in. I'm gonna go ahead and take the leave-in conditioner spray first. I don't want to spray too much. I don't want my hair to be sopping wet because it's going to make it a lot like harder and take a lot longer for this to like fully dry and set. So I'm not going to use too much. I do want to make sure that my ends have a good amount of product though because my ends be the driest part of my hair and I want to make sure that they're nice and moisturized. All right, so next I'm going to grab just a little bit of the coil custard 
and just gonna go ahead and comb that through. I'm actually gonna grab my Denman brush and I'm gonna use that to help smooth out this section. I feel like for twist outs, you need the sections to be insanely smooth. Like it just needs to be perfect. I know you guys have seen me talk about the Denman on here multiple times and my most recent thoughts were that it was just actually terrible for my wash and goes, but for a twist out, I do think it will probably be pretty necessary. Again, it just because you want this section to be like super smooth. All right, and the last product is just gonna be a little bit of mousse to seal all of that in. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and twist. So at the top, I'm gonna try and like really focus on twisting this really tight so I can try and avoid poofy roots at all costs. I'm just really twisting this super tight as I go on. <laughs> Y'all, I think this is definitely gonna be way too small of a twist. I think going forward, I'm definitely gonna do slightly bigger sections because we will be here all night. If I keep going like this, we will literally be here all night. <laughs> Look at how tiny that is. Okay, anyways, it's my first twist, y'all, okay? That'll be like the one and only twist that is this small. <laughs> Cause ain't nobody got time. My fingers are already tired. I'm not used to this, okay? At the ends, I'm just kind of twirling it around. And then boom. <gasps> what? Hold on, do y'all see this length though? Hello, this is cute. Wait, hold on, wait a minute. I know though that this is gonna shrink up to like probably up here because y'all know shrinkage is real. Gosh, I think for this entire section, just the way that I parted it, I think these twists are all gonna have to be a little bit smaller than the rest. I'm definitely gonna start sectioning out larger as we go up though because, hmm. So yeah, I'm literally just repeating the same exact steps for every single twist, just adding product smoothing it through with a Denman brush and making sure that I twist super, super tight. Now the reason why I was kind of thinking more about like trying a twist out now is because I feel like now that it's starting to get a little bit colder here in Atlanta, it's like the perfect time for me to be trying styles like this. In my last video when I was telling you guys how you can retain moisture in the winter, I was saying, you know, don't go outside with your hair soaking wet and then I did encourage y'all to actually switch from or at least consider switching from wash and goes to twist outs and then I was like hmm, maybe I should actually try a twist out so here we are I'm expecting super juicy just beautiful shiny curls that are like oh just super defined that's really what i'm expecting i'm really taking the time to make sure my hair is like smooth af so that when we take these twists out tomorrow it's gonna be nice let's actually see how long this takes me so right now it is 8 51 p.m and i was hoping i would be done by 9 30 let's see let's see how this goes <laughs> all right this this feels like a good size not too big not too small, you know, just right. It's coming along, y'all. My leave-in conditioner is trying to clock out early, but no, sis, we got more to do. <laughs> All right, you know what? I'm gonna switch to another leave-in conditioner spray. That one has like definitely clocked out. She's like, I'm done, that's it. So this is the leave-in conditioner spray by Imbue. This is actually a brand new curly hair brand. I have been testing them so far and I have to say I really, really love this leave-in conditioner spray. It has my curls moisturized. It's actually probably the best leave-in conditioner spray I've ever used and I don't know why I haven't been using this from the beginning. We are getting there, y'all. Now it is 9.41, so so far exactly like 40 minutes, actually 50 minutes. Boom! Oh my gosh, I feel like I have no hair. I'm almost kind of like, where did my hair go? This is so, wow. But let's just go ahead and get a quick close up right now. The curls are juicy. I don't even see one little bit of frizz anywhere. Everything is just looking juicy, nice, and just mm, 
The twins look great. Honestly, if I do say so myself, I'm really excited to see what the results are like tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead, go to bed, and I'll catch you guys back tomorrow in the studio, probably with a little bit more glam on. More, I have nothing on. So with glam on, at least something, a little some some, and then we can get into these final results. All right, so I'm back and it's actually two days later. I put these in Tuesday night and right now it is Thursday morning. Yesterday, I felt like they were still kind of a little bit wet and I didn't want to kind of like mess anything up, you know? So I was like, you know what? I'll just let it go like an extra day so we can make sure that it's like 100% fully dry. So here's how we're looking. I mean, y'all can see how much it shrunk. Like shrinkage is so real, first of all. I mean... Look at that, that's crazy. But again, I always tell you guys, I really don't mind my shrinkage too much because it is a sign of really happy and healthy curls. So I'm literally kind of okay with that, you know? These are really, really healthy, I mean. Yeah. Quickly though, let's look at this a little close up. You can see there's like absolutely zero frizz whatsoever. And yeah, I'm really, I'm really, really excited to see how the results are gonna come out because I'm kind of expecting some juicy curls. The way these twists look juicy, honey. All right, let's do this. You know what? I hear a lot of people talking about putting oil on their hands first when they're separating their twists, but honestly, I wouldn't be mad if there's like a little bit of additional frizz because right now I'm a little worried that there's not gonna be any volume. And y'all know I love my hair with like a good mixture of volume and curl definition. So I don't want it to just be super defined. I want there to be volume. So I'm not too worried about a little extra frizz because that might actually give me the look that I kind of want. So I'm not gonna bother with any oil, anything, you know, crazy. I'm literally just going to go ahead and take these out. Oh my gosh, it is time. My hair feels so good. It feels so soft and smooth. All right, let me first of all, let me put away the rest of hair so we can focus on this. Look at this. That is an unravel twist. So now I'm gonna have to like separate this even further. Oh my gosh, this is, wow. Curl definition city, what? Wow, so this is what we're looking at for my twist out results, oh my gosh. It is cute, it's really shrunk, but it is so cute. So I'm kind of pulling down on it a little bit and I'm noticing that that's helping it to kind of separate naturally. So wherever the natural breaks in curls are is where I'm just gonna lightly pull it apart and boom! Oh my, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> this curl definition is insane though. I mean, like... <laughs> Ooh, I actually really like how the big twist came out. I feel like it had definitely a little bit more volume by doing bigger twists. So maybe that's something that I can remember for next time I do my twist outs. To maybe just go for the bigger, fatter twist. It looks small. <laughs> it looks really small right now. And of course it obviously needs to be shaped because it also looks a little bit wonky. So. What I'm gonna do now is spend my time really separating the curls, just separate them even further and kind of just shape my hair a little bit. I'm just going to fluff. All right, so I spent a ton of time really separating the twists more and still just kind of fluffing it out and shaping it and guys, I am digging this twist out. I think especially over the next couple days when it continues to kind of grow and like get a little bit more additional volume, I think I'm gonna love it even more. But honestly, the curls just look so popping. It's crazy. I feel like with my Pintura highlights, it is popping. They look juicy, they look shiny, they look healthy. And it is very, very minimal frizz. I didn't add oil to my hands like you guys saw, so I really kind of didn't need to do that. They look super, super healthy and just super juicy and moisturized. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So I think it is safe to say 
my first twist out was a success! I really am like so excited to see how this continues to go like over the next couple of days. I definitely, in like feeling my hair and feeling the curls, I definitely, definitely feel like this will last me a lot longer than my wash and goes for sure, which is always a plus. I really enjoy the products that we use. I definitely 10 out of 10 recommend this Brio Geo Coil Custard. This was the bomb.com and the mousse. I mean, y'all know how I feel about this mousse. It gets the job done every single time. The thing I really like about this actually is that it's insane curl definition, but it's soft definition. So because we didn't use gel, it's not like hard or crunchy, which you guys know I absolutely hate. I like defined curls that are just like fluffy and soft. And I feel like that's kind of exactly what we got here. And again, the more that this grows over the next couple days, I feel like I'm gonna love it even more and more. Yeah, so I'm really happy with how this came out. I will definitely be doing more twist outs in the future just because of how happy I am with how these results came out. I had so much fun with this one. Thank you guys so much for following along this little twist out journey. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give your girl a little thumbs up. And if you are new here, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. That way you will never miss a new upload ever again. Again. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye